hope everybody had a nice Easter, a nice Easter weekend. I know I haven't done a video in quite some time. This is April 2nd, 2013. And yes, I did have quite a bit in the way of a good Easter weekend. I took some time off and now I'm back. So let's get right into the weather. The weather was kind of weird this morning. I woke up with about 21 degrees and about almost two inches of snow on the ground. And there were snow plows and salt trucks out. So this is kind of strange for April weather. So let's get right into it. I'm going to start off with some pictures, interesting pictures. Uh, Lucas D. from uh, Linden, Texas here. Well, let's take a look. He's got a funnel cloud that was dropping out of the clouds here. Here's the initial. There's four shots of that. You can see, let me step off the screen here. You see here's the first shot. Then we get to the second shot. And you can see it start to form beyond the clouds. And of course, this is your typical, uh, very Texas-like weather. You have a very good amount of instability in the clouds and th thunderstorms. And this is what you get. Here's the third snapshot here. We get a very, very nice funnel forming. And then you can see it behind the trees back there. The fourth snapshot. Very nicely done, Lucas. Uh, anybody that can get pictures of that without getting harmed, I encourage you someone to send them in. Let's take a look at his other pictures here. He's got a few more. Oh, look at the moon! Another moon shot here. A nice, almost pretty much full moon. Um, I couldn't, I couldn't quite get that last week because uh, those there's too much clouds in New York State, but in Texas you get them nice clear nights. And here is a nice, a nice sunset here. Look at this, very nice sunset. That's a great Texas sunset there. Nice color to it. Looks like it's uh, shining through the tree branches there. Almost seems very serene. And uh, here's a picture taken just after sunset. Leaves on the trees. Very nice. Thank you, Lucas. Nice work. All right. Let's get right in. If you have any photos, send them in, any videos as well. Let's get right into the weather. I'm going to start off with the current weather map. This is current for 5 p.m. on April 2nd, 2013. I just want to go quickly over what we're going to be dealing with the next couple uh, days. And we got this system across Texas and South Florida, and this system up in the Pacific Northwest, and a system up in Eastern Canada. For the most part, things are going to remain very quiet but it's along the Gulf Coast is where most of the action is going to be the next several days. So let's get right into the precipitation map here. I usually only show this when we have significant amounts of precipitation. You can see right along the southern portion of the Gulf Coast here, most of it will remain offshore, but some of those counties along the Gulf Coast county areas the border the Gulf Coast, those will be getting in excess of three to five inches of rain over the next several days along the North Carolina and South Carolina coastlines, upwards of two and a half inches of rain. Up in the Northeast, about a quarter inch over the next five days, and it's up in the Pacific Northwest towards the end of the week. We'll start to see a Pacific Northwest system roll in with about two to four inches of rain possible with that system as well. So we're going to get right into the hazards. Most of the severe weather on this map you can see is going to remain south of uh, Dallas and south of Shreveport and over to uh, Biloxi. These are the areas that will remain most under the gun for severe weather, but we're not going to have a major severe weather outbreak. It's mainly going to remain a heavy rain, a soaking rain event, so watch out for that flooding on the area roadways. Across the northeast, conditions will warm as we see a warming trend. That lake effect snow will begin to shut off, and I'll get into some of those lake effect snow totals just shortly here. And uh, across the northern plains, we will also see a warm-up. And out west, things will be getting wetter in the Pacific Northwest, while things remain hot and dry in the desert southwest for this time of year. So, let's get right into those lake effect snow totals. We'll see on the east end, we don't have seen any major lake effect snow bands here off Lake Erie. It's mainly off Lake Ontario. That's where we're getting the instability, and we're getting that bands of lake effect snow from uh, Monroe County, Madison County, Onondaga County, Oswego County, Jefferson, Lewis Counties, all these counties here, uh, Oneida County, will continue to see an upwards of two to four inches with locally higher amounts, three to six inches uh, in some of those central areas 
uh, between Syracuse and Watertown could get upwards of 8 to 10 inches of snow and some of those heavier snow bands, but it'll mainly be a 2 to 4 and 3 to 6 inch event. So let's get right into temperatures. Over the next four days, we're going to continue to watch for a warming trend across the east. Things will get a little bit cooler in the Pacific Northwest, but stay rather toasty in the desert southwest. And it's across the east we see those temperatures slowly begin to build. And I know many of you across the northeast, including myself, have not been able to believe a warm-up is in the cards because it's been so cold, especially this morning when I received 21 degrees. But that warming trend will find itself, it's not going to be a major warming trend, but at least we'll get back to somewhat uh, nicer temperatures for portions of the northeast. It's down south here, we really start to get warm. And it's not till next week, where April 9th through 11th, we're starting to hint at a major system that's going to be heading across the desert southwest and emerge off the plateau into West Texas, and it's going to stir up some trouble. And that could be our first extreme severe weather outbreak of the season for Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, down to Louisiana, and extending over towards Georgia as well. So we're going to continue to watch that. I'm not going to get into the particulars of that, because it's only April 2nd, and April 9th through 11th is next week. So I'll continue to watch that for you here at MeteoMark. Subscribe to me on Facebook. Don't forget to visit my website at MeteoMark.com. Subscribe to me on YouTube. Here's a four-day forecast for my hometown viewers from Binghamton, Telmyra, and the northern tier counties of Pennsylvania. Here we got going. Let me get my days straight because I've been off so long. Let me think. This would be Wednesday, and yes, I, I am correct. We're heading on into the day on Wednesday here. We're going to see temperatures continue to remain below normal, but we'll see lows start from the 20s and then go to the 30s. By the weekend, we could be hitting upwards of 50, 55 degrees for highs, with lows actually, amazingly, above freezing by the time Saturday rolls around. We could see a low of 34, which would be quite amazing considering what we've seen over the last several weeks here across the Northeast. But we won't see any major areas of precipitation. In fact, as we head from Wednesday here to Saturday, you start to see the cloud cover thin out, and crystal clear sunshine form. That's going to do it for Meteor Mark.